So this is my power cell. As you can see, we've got black negative on the left, red positive on the right, 16, uh, 40, I'm sorry, 304 S stainless steel plates. I'm just using this as a test uh, rig. I have two seals here for extra extra tight on this seal here. Um, I use the bobber pressure relief valve so when the pressure gets too much that just pops off and we're good to go. Uh, my air comes out the side and down into my bubbler. This water level will only be about here or so, a little bit higher. Um, bubble through here out to my uh, whatever I want to do. Like I said, this is a test rig, not meant to go in a vehicle. I will have another cork in here as a double pressure relief valve on my uh, bubbler as well. As you can see, here's my whole rig. Um, the inside of everything has the um, has the marine adhesive, which everybody online says is the only thing you should use on the inside. If I tilt this forward, you can see I have my connections with liquid electrical tape to prevent any conductive jumping around. I also use heat shrink tubing on the top and the bottom, as you can see there. Middle is, like I said, my negative or ground. My positive goes down the side, down and up. And that's about it. Hopefully we'll be doing some tests here tomorrow. Thanks for watching. All right, video number two. Getting a test drive. We've got potassium hydroxide in there. Uh, boasted as some of the best electrolyte. Here we go. Hopefully you guys can see this. I got all eight cell eight uh, um, areas firing, and this thing becomes fully clouded, creating massive amounts of hydrogen right away. I mean, that is, it, it, you can't even get soda that good. Uh, you can see the steam, I don't know if you can see the steam coming up. Looks like a beautiful success. So watch how quickly it clears off. Begin to see my cell emerge. The bubbler has indeed stopped. Watch it again. Preliminary um, testing shows this is just under a liter a minute. Um, of course, the cell is not broken in and or warmed up. So, still not even lukewarm to the touch. The entire container, of course, the cell is probably warmer. But there you go. Alright, 
just cracked it open and everything appears to be warm if not a little well, probably a little bit hot to the touch but not unbearable as you can see I'm holding on um, clears right out gotta love potassium hydroxide doesn't muck up anything as you can see I've got a leak really bad on the positive side actually that's about half an hour worth of running and not so bad on this side I've got to take it apart pack some leaks and we'll do more testing uh, initial calculations must be something wrong it says I was getting approximately um, 11 milliliters per minute per watt which should not be possible okay thanks bye